who died, was dying, she lived. Oh, God. That's deep. And then when they look over that, you say, where is your faith? Where is your faith? Faith is what's needed in this hour after everything else. Granted that you have monies and things of that nature. That's good. But where is your faith? If you know, I mean, for people who know God, you know, people that know God, where is your faith to even stretch it, to even believe God on the first thing? I mean, some of us say, well, I got a money mountain. <laughs> when that mountain started, you know, God was talking about like mountains, mountains. You understand? Like, like they had. Like, look out, mountain. You understand? That's a mountain. You know, we try to, a lot of people try to say, your stress is a mountain. You can speak to that mountain and all of that. No, stress is a stress. Stress is not a mountain. It's just a stress. And it could be thou removed, too. Stress can be removed. It can be removed by faith. It might not come by nothing else. See, the reason why things are failing because people mistaken the truths. See, you got to go back to God with everything. All of this trickery and stuff that people are doing is ridiculous. How are you going to do something and then they find out like they did an investigation on a, a medical, I mean, a, a mental facility. They did an investigation and whoop, there it is. All kind of stuff was happening. It was too small and this and that and all kind of stuff was happening. And then you wonder why folks is doing stuff because they need to ask God to increase my faith, increase my faith for me to, uh, you know, to keep going. You got to, you got to ask God, you understand, to increase my faith. If you, if he say you can judge the earth, you understand, if you read that and figure out that you can do these things, you know, what's on the earth? You got water, you got land, you know, you even got air. You understand? All of these things are on the earth. You understand? So these three things and life is on earth. So God say, I'm giving you the dominion of the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, over the creepy thing that crawleth up under the up on the earth. You don't even know that some people back in the year 1925, the last time they rained, you seen all them worms. That was burning in the middle of the street. Them was some folks that some of y'all might have knew back then. And they were all gathered together. And see, one thing a person may not know. When you look at it like, okay, when, you a, when you're an embryo, that's one thing. But when God say... Your worm will forever burn. That's another thing. And then when you look at the worm, and then you look at like, okay, they're looking for the bodies. You like, 
They can't find the bodies. What happened to the body? They looking and they can't tell what was what. But they not, are they looking for the worm? Are they searching for the worm by faith? Because if you find it by faith, you probably find out what everything was. If you take it back to the right people and you can say, oh, we found something here. Let's see if this can help us identify what this was. Faith would help you unlock that door to that. Faith would cause you. That's from God. That's some powerful stuff. You're talking about a God like that, that good God Almighty. When I got into the faith of God, that made me leave everything. Because, see, God say we more than conquerors, first of all. And when you understand what a conqueror is, what is a conqueror? A conqueror is a person who has a territory that has money and, you know, dictation and all that stuff. Now, okay. And they can be considered, you know, kings or anybody else. You understand? But God say, we are more than conquerors. When you hear that, you ought to be really, you ought to really get something to me. When you hear, we are more than conquerors, that right there should let you know you bigger than anything else. I say, when the word come over that pool pit and stuff like that, and they tell you, in faith, we are more than conquerors. What is a definition? Some people don't define what a conqueror is. A conqueror is a person that is very wealthy, that has position, you understand, and rulership over a certain amount of territory. But God say, you are more than a conqueror. See, what they can't do is do what you do. Oh, God. Because you operating by faith. You ain't offering, you ain't operating off witchcraft. I said you operating off faith. You ain't offering, you ain't you ain't doing it off voodoo. You operating off faith. Faith is the substance. Now, see the substance before faith was your money that you had. You understand? When when that loses value, you want to start. What are you going to do? Some people don't know how to make it. They don't know how to make it when they don't have money. What do you do, you know, when you don't have money? Do you have what you do? You call things into existence. So you start to say, you know what? I'm going to have somebody now. I might not have that, but I know somebody got my blessing by faith. I know somebody's going to bless me by faith. Sometimes it might not come through the money. It might just come through the person actually blessing you with what you need. Instead of you stressing out how the money and this, that, and the other going to come, sometimes it can just come by the faith in you believing. You might just get what you need. Like, oh, dang. I didn't know I was going to get all this like that. But you have faith to really, you have faith. Faith. Faith is what you have. They get you what you got. You know, people say, how did you get what you got? I got it by faith because I spoke some the other day 
that God now just now reward me because I released it. Sometimes it's it's better to just release something God gave you because, see, when you do that, you get a harvest, whether nobody get it, you got it. So now you got a harvest. You get a harvest. You understand? You really get a harvest. You start getting stuff. You be like, dang, how you get that? How you get that? How you do that like that? I'm trying to people focus. Some people having time. They like, Lord, you know, they trying to get this money, that money straight. And they like, man, I'm trying to get this one pair of uh, shoes right here. Then faith, God be like, okay, I'm about to blow your mind. And you thinking about, man, next paycheck, I'm going to go get them J's. You know what I'm saying? But by faith, if you do what God say, he about to he'll give you the whole collection. If you really, if he think you need it, you understand? And then he might, it might not all be for you. He might tell you to bless somebody with a pair of shoes. Lord have mercy. I might just bless somebody. You understand? Because God blessed me. He said, you've been blessed to bless somebody else. You know, I ain't even got that many feet. Hello, somebody. But faith say somebody. I've done that before. The church has had donations. They looked at me and say, uh, why are you giving out these new snakeskin shoes to the homeless man? Because he about to walk in the glory. And then next thing you know, they take it into the Salvation Army for a tax write off. You see, but I thought it was going to the homeless people. I thought it was going to the homeless. You got the donation, but why it ain't going to the people who people gave it to? It wasn't for us to, I mean, we can be first partakers of stuff, but let the stuff go to the people who need it. They need in something. It's people who needing God to do something by faith. By faith, God is getting ready to do something for you by faith. You understand? By faith, somebody, somebody might just, you never know. The Lord might just put it on my heart. Like I try to do that to one young brother. And the Lord can bless him on that one. So I got to find some other people to bless. But the Lord has blessed me. And when I bless, when I bless them, God find a way to bless me with even more. Because I release some that. I might not even particularly well or get into, but to that land. If milk and honey ain't enough for you, it's going to be something else that you ain't never had by faith. Some place that you ain't never had. Stuff, some food you ain't never tasted that you wish you want to taste. But when you bless the kingdom of God, God going to allow you to taste and see that he, it is, that is good. That he is good. That the kingdom of God is good. You're going to get to taste and see. Taste and see the word of God. You're going to see that when you taste the word, like, and the word of God tastes good. Okay? Because if I if I keep on eating at it, then the Lord gonna bless me. <laughs> the Lord gonna He gonna bless me with something. You understand? He gonna bless me before because I got hungry for the words of the Lord. Like Lord, what did you have me to say? What would you have me to do? And faith is something that he will have you operating in. You understand? And some of these things get too deep with all of the other mysteries of God. If you start switching up stuff, it'll be a little crazy. You understand? But faith today is going to get you some things. Faith today is really going to get you things that you ain't never had. See, my life is made out of faith. You understand? My my life is what is a definition of faith more than anything. 
even with the vision of the God Corporation. That came.